Sige na. Okay. Our first topic for circuits is delta y transformations. As you can see, we only have series connection parallel. Aside from this, we also have your delta connection and we also have your y connection. Okay? Let us proceed with delta connection. Okay? So when we say delta, it look it looks like your Greek letter delta. Okay? The easiest way to recognize this is it resembles a triangle. Okay? And So if this is your terminal 1, terminal 2 and terminal 3 and we have there your R1 R2 and R3 with respect to terminal 1, 2 and 3 your R1, R2 and R3 are in delta a variation of this if you is, is if you will try to invert or ganyan na no? if you will try to redraw this Okay. So this is your R1, R2 and R3. Terminal 1, terminal 3 and terminal 2. If your three resistors are connected in this manner, they are said to be in delta. Or a third variation is this. If your three resistors are connected in this way or in this manner, this is terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 3. We have here your R1, R2, and R3. If your three resistors are connected in this manner, it is said to be in delta. Okay? So you need to recognize correctly how your resistances are connected in delta. The same is true that we are doing when your resistors are in series and in parallel. How do we recognize also if your resistances or resistors are connected in Y? Okay. Of course, your resistances are connected in Y if they resemble your letter Y. And so this is your R1, R2, and R3. Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and Terminal 3. The common point is usually point O. If you are given resistances that are connected in this manner, they are said to be in Y. If you try to strengthen up the arms, man, still they are still they are connected in Y. This is one terminal one, terminal two, and terminal three. This is your R1, R2, and R3. And the last how are your resistances connected in Y looks like if you try to bend down the arms bending down the arms it will look like this terminal 1 terminal 2 and terminal 3 this is your R1 R2 and R3 okay In any way, they are still in Y. Okay? Or, a variation of this is, one arm might be going up, and the other two arms, ngayon, they are still in Y. This is just similar to this one. Next. Okay? Sometimes, it is necessary for us to transform from delta to y and y to delta okay 
O, punta tayo ngayon sa Delta Y Transformation. Delta to Y Transformation. I will just uh, write down the rule for you to have it memorized. Okay? Okay? So this is the rule, no? For delta to y transformation, one leg of a y connected resistor is equal to the product of the two adjacent legs divided by the sum of the delta connected resistors. So let us try to apply the rule. Okay? What we will be doing now is we will try to transform your delta connected resistors into an equivalent y this is your terminal 1 terminal 2 and terminal 3 this is your a your leg that is your a b and c we will transform this into an equivalent y whose network is this Yeah. This is your terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 3. And supposing that this is your X, Y, and Z. How are you going to find your X, Y, and Z? To effect the, re to effect the transformation, this is your X. Correct? This is your Y. And the other one is your Z. This is your X. We have there your Y. And this is your Z. Okay? All you have to do is to follow the rule. Sundan na, sundin lang natin yung rule. So let us try to find your X. X is equivalent to... Yan. Yeah, according to the rule... One leg of a Y connected resistor is equal to the product of the two adjacent legs of the delta connected resistor divided by the sum of the delta connected resistances. The two adjacent legs with respect to X is A and C. So this will be C times A divided by the sum which is X plus y plus z okay if you are looking if you are also looking for the y we will follow the same rule this is our y product of the two adjacent legs of y that is your a and b so this will be your a times b divided by the sum that is a plus b plus c okay in a similar manner, if you are looking for Z, Z is equivalent to product of the two adjacent legs. This is your Z. The adjacent legs is B and C divided by the sum. That is A plus B plus C. Okay? And remember that these formulas or equations will only work if your variables are arranged in this manner. So it is imperative that you will not be memorizing any formulas in this case. What, ca what I can advise is for you to have this rule familiarized or remembered always. Because if the variables are arranged or jumbled, the formula will be different. So, one leg of a Y connected leg is equivalent to the product of the two adjacent legs divided by the sum. Okay? Next, how about if we will do it the other way? Y to delta transformation. Okay? Y to delta transformation again there is a corresponding rule 
So the rule for this Okay One leg of a delta connected resistor Is equal to the sum of the products Of the Y connected resistor Okay, singin tayo dito Y connected resistor Taken two at a time Okay, so here is the rule. One leg of a delta connected resistor is equal to the sum of the products of the Y. Sum of the products of the Y connected resistor taken two at a time divided by the third leg or the unused leg. So this time, we will be transforming your Y to delta. Okay, so from Y, supposing that this is terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 3, we have here your A, B, and C. We will transform this into an equivalent delta. And this is terminal 1, terminal 2, and terminal 3. Supposing that this is your X. Y and Z Okay Across terminal 1 and 2 That is where you will be placing your Resistance X This is where you will be placing also your Resistance Y This is your Resistance Z Okay So what is X Equal to According to the rule X is equivalent to sum of the products of the Y connected resistors taken two at a time divided by the third leg or the unused leg. Sum of the products taken two at a time. So you take the product, however, it should be two at a time. So it, this will be AB plus BC plus CA divided by the third leg or the unused leg so if you are solving for x since your x is connected between points 1 and 2 the third unused leg is terminal 3 and that is your c okay next y sum of the products taken two at a time that is a b plus BC plus CA divided by the third unused leg so we have utilized your legs A and C the opposite uh, leg is B then we have the value of Z sum of the products taken two at a time that is AB plus BC plus CA divided by the opposite leg which is your A Okay. As you can see, there is a common term for y to delta. The same is true for delta. The same is true for delta to y. For y to delta, the numerator is the same. Parehas. Yan. Parehas yan. For delta to y, the, the uh, denominator is also the same. Okay, so what is important is you try to memorize the two rules. The rules that we have for delta to y and y to delta. Never memorize any of this. Because these formulas or equations is only valid for these 
variable arrangement. If you have a different variable, then the formula will be different. Okay? Uh, let's have an example. 